Hey dudes, and this is a tutorial for the basics of Audacity. After installing Audacity, just make sure you install the two plugins. The first plugin is the Lane Codec, in which you can actually export MP3 files from Audacity. And the second one is the FFmpeg plugin, in which you can import other kinds of sound files like M4A or AAC. Let me show you the layout of Audacity. First are the main toolbars, the workspace, the selection toolbar, and the status bar. In the main toolbar is the transport toolbar in which you play, pause, stop, go from the beginning, go to the end, and record. Second one is the tools toolbar in which you can make a selection, use the envelope tool to change the volume of part of the audio, use the time shift tool to move some of the tracks, and the zoom tool. The recording toolbar so you will know the levels of your recording so it doesn't actually clip. So you will see if it clips while you're recording. The playback meter toolbar in which how loud is your whole project while you're playing it. The mixer toolbar in which you can actually change the volume of the playback or change the volume of your recording just to make sure your recording doesn't clip. When I say about clip, it's when the audio peaks so high that it will distort and it will sound very awkwardly bad. So just make sure you lower your recording volume. I will lower my recording volume to 70.75 just in case. The first thing we want to do is to record your voice because usually Audacity is known for just recording stuff like on gameplay or just talking to a microphone. So like podcasting. So let's uh, record. Hit the record button and let's say something. Hey dudes and welcome back to another tutorial. And let's hit that stop button. Or you can always hit the space button if you want to. Hitting the space button once again will actually play your recording. Hey dudes and welcome back to another tutorial. And let's hit that stop button. As you can hear, I have uh, recorded an extra part. <laughs> we just want to delete that. So let's make a selection, drag, and delete. Now if you have noticed that there's part of noise that I don't want, this is how Audacity shines. First off, let's make a selection, then go to effect, Noise reduction. If you want to use the noise reduction, just make sure you select the part of the noise, not part of your recording because that will get also removed. So step one is to get the noise profile. Click it and it gets the noise profile. Now select the track that you want the noise to be removed. In order to do that, I'm just going to click this part of the track and let's go back to effect noise reduction. This time I don't want to change the settings here, so you just click OK. As you can see, there are less noise here. Let's play that again. Let's go to skip to start, so we can start from the beginning. Then hit play, or just I'm just going to hit space. Hey dudes, and welcome back to another tutorial. Doesn't that sound better? Well, let's save the project for now, because sometimes Audacity actually crashes. It's better to save your project right now. Let's go to File, Save Project, or I can always use Control S, just like any standard Windows program. Let's go to Audacity Projects, in which I have a dedicated folder just in case for Audacity Projects. Let's name it Project 1, because I don't have any creative no names for this project. <laughs> Click save. Now we have saved this project. Just in case the audacity crashes itself, which actually happens, especially if you're a lot of recordings. What if you want to export the file to something not a, as a project, but as a sound file? Well, let's go to file, export audio. Let's go to the audacity projects and let's save it to WAV file. If you installed the plugin, the lane codec, you can actually save it to MP3. But we don't want to save it in MP3 because that's a lossy format. Let's save it in WAV file. Click save. Now, here's the metadata. Metadata is basically other information that will be in your file. 
If you're saving to WAV format, just make sure this is blank, or hit the clear button, so that Audacity actually exports it. Audacity has problems exporting WAV files with metadata in it, but if you're exporting to MP3, you can add metadata, like the artist name, track title, and the album title. Now if you're done, you click OK. And now it's saved to a WAV file. Now you can send it to other people. But of course, you can always save it to MP3 because WAV files are very big, just in case. And that's the basics of Audacity. So anyways dudes, I'm new Critter, see you later.